I'd want to first start by thanking everyone who's following me on YouTube, on Instagram. Thank you for your support, I truly appreciate it. I know I don't say it many times, yeah, but I'm grateful. So today I wanted to share with you the books that I've been reading. Uh, I'm an avid reader. I read maybe a book um, once every two weeks or once a week. I'm not a TV person or a music person. I guess it's because as I was growing up, I uh, we weren't allowed to watch TV or listen to radio or go out and play. So I kept myself busy by reading books. And um, whenever like you'd get good grades and you do well, you'd be bought for a book. So that's where the habit come from, came from. I really, really would like like my reading habits rubber for my kids, my teenagers. Uh, I guess I'm losing that battle for Sean. Yeah, he doesn't like to read the books as much, but I'm working on it. I've still not given up. So I'll go straight into it and show you the books that I've been reading. I'll start with the first one, it's called Black Ass. It's by a writer called A. Igoni Barrett. I don't even pronounce the name correctly. It's an, it's an African writer. It's about this uh, black guy who woke up one day and he was white, other than his ass, which was black. So he just talks about as a young um, youth in, I don't know if it's Nigeria or Ghana, where they're struggling to look for jobs and he wakes up and he's going for a job interview and that's the night that his skin color changes and he realizes how different he's treated as a white man and so yeah it's a very very interesting book and it also makes you appreciate the side of, of being a different race and seeing how it feels because he's a white man in a predominantly black country so that's one of them i have another one called choose a gift it's called it shoots and leaves and it's, it's the title is The Zero Tolerance to Approach to Punctuation. It's a very, very funny book about how um, over time we've forgotten the general rules of English, of grammar, we forget to punctuate, and how it really irritates this, this person, and how we would like to preserve that culture of using the, the right punctuation, uh, the right spelling, and just having our good old English language back. So it's really a really funny book. Third one, which is something that I never stop reading, is by Rupi Kaur. It's, it's uh, The Sun and Her Flowers. It's a lovely book with lovely um, poems. Maybe you've seen some of the quotes that I post come from here. So this is always next to my bed. I know she has another one called Make and Honey, but my favorite is The Sun and Her Flowers. So this is a book I keep to my, my best and I keep on reading because I can relate to the poems inside here. So my fourth book is called Small Country by the writer here. I don't want to say their names and then mispronounce it. It's about this boy who grew up in Bujumbura and his father was French and his mom was from Rwanda who got separated and then he moved away from this country and uh, migrated to another country in, the, in Europe. And so he talks about how he's, he misses his country and he never really feels that place wherever he is. He relocated to Paris and he really, really misses his country and his childhood. I'll just read one line for you and it says, I'm haunted by the idea of returning. Not a day goes by without the country calling to me. A secret sound, a scent of the breeze, a certain afternoon light, a gesture sometimes silent is enough to stir my childhood memories. So he really misses his country, Africa and Bujugura. And so yeah, that's what it's about and he reminisces and he eventually goes back. And then here's another one I think most people have read it. It's called I'm Judging You by Lovie Ajayi. She's a really good author, very funny. It talks about social media and the different rules and the different um, things that to do that are not so cool. It just talks about social media do's and don'ts and he say, and she's, she's not ashamed to say those things, you know. The things like um, uh, how in social media you re use hashtags for all the wrong things, of how we are friends on social media but in real life you're not there to support one another. And he's, she's just saying all those things that we would want to say but we don't have it. So she does it and she really emphasizes that we can do better. So it's a do better manual and I really love this book. She's a very enjoyable read. So this is my current read. I'm like on page maybe 50. So it's about these um, three house girls from Ghana. So I'm still there. I don't know how it's going to end, but I know it's going to be an interesting read. Uh, I'm not read this too, but um, there's a guy at Tesco Center who I usually asks for advice on good books, and this was one of them. So it's called The President is Missing by Bill Clinton and James Patterson. So when I read it, I'll let you know. And then my last one is Jeffrey Archer, where it's called Heads You Win. Yeah, so I haven't read this one also, so I'll give you feedback when I do. As you can see, I really love fiction. I'm not into biography or self-help books. Also, why I love reading is because I feel like I'm in that world, you know, 
reading has really helped me to be open-minded about life and be able to transport myself into someone else's um, perspective to be able to see a different perspective other than my own yeah so that's why i love reading and i wish there was a book club but i could join i've not found any that are consistent because also with book, book clubs you have to find people who your personalities are sort of alike so yeah uh, maybe hopefully when i the kids get older and i get more free time i'll set a book club so guys, hope you enjoyed and let me know what you guys are reading now and we can share. Okay, I won't share with you my book or I don't share my book, but I can buy you one. Okay, bye guys, until next time.